Coffee. Let us tell you the story of Abraham Avinu, his burning son, Sarah. Join us as we learn together to pack coffee. Ready? The lifetime of Sarah was 127 years. But sadly, Sarah was in the Paris and Curious Arba, another name for heaven, which is in the land of Canaan. Abraham came to mourn for Sarah and to cry for her. He came to be made face. The story began to break the screen. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, oh, hi, hi, Abraham. I am a stranger and a dollar with you. Please give me a buyer place and I'll buy my dad. Listen to us, my master. You are a prince of a shem in our names. Now your dad is the best of our buyers. Now let us go back and buy your dad. If it is really your will to buy my dad, listen to me and please for me with Ephraim Bun so far. And you'll give to me for our son to be a What happened next? And Ephraim was sitting in the midst of Bani Chais, and he answered Abraham in the ears of the nation of the land who all came to the gate oh. of the city. This is our master. Human master, I have already given you the field and the game that is in it. But if you only listen to me, I'll give you the money for the field. Take it from me and I'll bury my dad. Land between me and you what is 400 silver shekels. Abram did as Abram said. We got 400 silver shekels. The field and the cave were transferred and Abram buried his wife Sarah there. The field officially became Abraham's. Wait a minute. Before we finish, we have a few questions. Why does Abram say strangers and dwellers? When he's talking to the Nehe, aren't they two opposite words? We learn that the word stranger means if you don't let me bury, bury sorry here. And the word dweller means if you do let me bury sorry here. Also, why would they have the king of the city? We know there's some orchestra that everyone will become the leader. That way for this whole story to happen, all the people are the gate to show covered for Sarah. Why did I run and sister on paying Ephraim? Abraham wanted to pay Abraham so he can make sure it really belongs to him. He doesn't want anyone from beneath him He's coming, on, coming later on and telling him it doesn't belong to him because he never paid for it. What's with Amr the Abbas? Ephraim did the exact opposite. First he said not to pay and then he charged them 400 silver shekels. Wow, thanks for the story. story.